Hello everybody, Jean here. We're back in orbit around Mars on board the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. I'll be showing you a huge self-illuminating dome-like anomaly I spotted at a site in Nili Fosse near the Perseverance rover. Then towards the end of the video I'll show you a second huge dome-like anomaly I spotted in Sardinia Mensa. So the photograph we're analysing is this one, taken by the context camera on board the MRO. Let's have a look at some of the details. Scaled pixel width, 5.58 meters. They call it right along with high rise. Acquired on the 10th of March, 2012. And this is a huge photograph, folks. Scaled image height, 104 kilometers. So let's have a look at this terrain. You see there's lots of these shallow circular depressions and they seem to be covered in sediment. Let's just scroll through. So this is in that huge canal and there it is folks. You've got this huge circular depression and right there in the center is what appears to be a self-illuminating dome. So the site we're looking at is right there to the west of the Perseverance rover. So we've got Jezero over here to the east and that site is in that canal at roughly 20 degrees 18 minutes north 74 degrees 7 minutes east as always i'll include the links to the original nasa pages in the video description so let's take a closer look at this that dome inside is approximately 450 meters across and then it's inside this circular depression. Let's take a close up look. I don't know how this works folks. The sun is shining from the left to right. It illuminates the side of the circular depression. And then we've got that brighter part in the center. And it seems to be below the rim of this depression. If it was sticking out above the rim, you'd see it lit up on the left hand side with a shadow on the right. And also you'd see a shadow over here to the right as well against the wall of that depression. So this thing's strange. As I say, to me, it looks as if it's self-illuminating. And then the second huge dome-like anomaly, also photographed by the context camera on board the MRO. The pixel width is 5.73 meters. Description, terrain north of Morth Vallis. Acquired on the 6th of July 2008 and this is also another huge photograph. Scaled image height 232 kilometers and the anomaly we're looking at is right there inside that circular depression. And again it's a huge dome-shaped object. Let's take a closer look. 
So we have Sardinia Mensa, and the site we're looking at is right there at 29 degrees, 15 minutes north, 19 degrees, 16 minutes west. So we'll be having a look at that dome-like feature inside that circular depression. And the dome measures approximately 300 meters across. So it's huge, folks. Let's take a closer look. Check that out. So the sun's a little higher. You can see it's lit up the left-hand side and the right-hand side of the dome is in shadow. And then over here to the right, we've got some really strange surface features as well. Check this out, it looks like some type of grid system. Could that be some type of surface mining, surface activity? Right, we're in Google Earth Mars, heading to that site inside Nelly Fosse. There's a brief look at that anomaly once again. This is a thumbnail I added to Google Mars. And then we have the Perseverance mission of here to the east. And this is where I discovered these huge canals that intersect each other at right angles. And these canals are approximately five meters wide. We didn't see close-up of these, unfortunately. The rover and the helicopter just passed these by. It's a pity. I would have loved to see what these canals look like. It's unfortunate. Right, and the second dome-like feature is right there, folks. So we have Sardinia Mensa. And then the site right there. And there's a look at that anomaly once again. And just the highlight in Morth Vallis. Range highly eroded pyramidal feature. You can see the four sides there. And the apex. It seems to be on top of a circular base. So what do you guys and girls think? Could these be dome-like structures hidden inside the circular depressions? Could they be there to avoid the sun's radiation, safety concerns, or are these just natural mounds inside these circular depressions? Check that out. And then the strange surface features next to it. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Let's engage in the comments. I look forward to reading your opinion, your analysis as to what these huge time-like anomalies might be. As always, thanks for watching.